Let's look at the financial dashboard. On the top left there's a chart which shows us the total revenue for the select period. We can change the selected period. We can change the ending date of the selected period and we can also change whether we're going to use a rolling period or period to date. We have a comparison period. This comparison is basically, in this case, we're looking at the previous quarter. So we're comparing this quarter to the previous quarter. We could compare it to the same quarter last year. We're showing the change. The change is basically whether we have sold more this quarter versus last quarter or less. The chart in the top right shows us the gross margin. Gross margin is basically the total income less the cost of sales in terms of product costs as well as service costs. Service costs is the hourly rate of your members as set up in the ConnectWise member management screen multiplied by the number of hours that they've put against particular tickets, agreements, projects. I'll just go back to today and clear the data. Down the bottom left we see the outstanding invoices. This shows us what invoices have not been paid by your customers. The work in progress chart is the work that's flagged by ConnectWise as billable but you have not yet invoiced your customers. The agreement chart shows us how much of our income is from agreements versus time and materials or do and charge. The fixed chart shows us how much of our income is from fixed fee work as opposed to variable price work. In this case we don't have any in this particular period. Selecting a year, yes we can see 1% of our work is fixed fee. We don't like doing stuff on fixed fee because, well, it's risky for us and would rather pass the risk on to the customer. The final chart down the bottom right is a comparison of this year versus last year which yeah, looks pretty good. This year looks like it was a better year than last year. Hey, but last year wasn't a great year.